Welcome to this Draw My Life about Annabelle. Many of you asked for this video, so we hope you enjoy it. It was 1970 when a woman bought her daughter Donna a doll called Raggedy Ann. These dolls were created by American writer Johnny Grell for a series of children books in 1915. This character was very successful. Donna, who was studying nursing in university, put her new doll on her bed. It was a rag doll, and her hair was made of red wool. Suddenly strange things started to happen. Donna and her roommate Angie were shocked to see the doll appear in different spots of the room, often changing position. At first they thought someone was pranking them, coming in the room while they were away, but soon creepy notes began to appear, saying things like, help me, did you miss me? Or help Lou, Lou was Donna's boyfriend. When they found blood stains in the doll's dress, they decided to call a medium for help. The medium told them it was actually the spirit of Annabelle Higgins, a girl who was murdered there a few years back and that was now trapped in the ragdoll. She said she was very comfortable with them and wanted to stay. Donna and Angie decided to go on with their lives, paying attention and talking to Annabelle. Lou, Donna's boyfriend, thought the whole situation was so real. He was certain they had to get rid of the doll. Soon after, he woke up from a nightmare to find Annabelle at his feet. One day, Donna and Angie heard people talking inside an empty room in their apartment. They realized it's all because of the doll and decided to call a priest who then passes on the case to Ed and Lorraine Warren. The Warrens were a couple that dedicated their lives to all paranormal and parapsychological phenomena. As soon as they see the doll, they realize it's not a girl spirit, but a diabolic entity. So they take her to their house to keep an eye on her. Strange things happen during their journey back to Connecticut. Ed chose to stay off the main roads to avoid accident, but the car started to fail. The brakes weren't working, the steering deviated, and they also had trouble with the engine. However, they made it home. The doll kept on appearing and disappearing in different rooms of her new home, so the Warrens asked a priest they knew to come into their house to exercise the doll. He refused, so they decided to put the doll in a glass case so she couldn't harm anyone. Since then, it's said that a priest goes to their house twice a month to bless the doll with holy water, to keep the demonic presence from reappearing. The Warrens' statements are the only proof we have of Annabelle's story being true. In 2013, The Conjuring came out a movie about the Perrin family and their haunted house. It's one of the Warrens' most famous cases, and it includes the presence of the witch Bathsheba. In the movie we can see Annabelle being possessed by this witch. The film was so successful they soon started thinking about a prequel for The Conjuring, a movie about Annabelle's story. This movie came out a year later, in 2014, and the doll didn't look like the one in the original story. Honestly, the fictional one is way creepier. In this spin-off, we see the story of a couple that buys this doll and days later, two satanists break into their house and try to kill them. The possessed woman kills herself, and that's when her spirit passes on to the door. At the end of the movie, we can see Annabelle on display at the shop window as a woman buys it for her daughter, who is a nursing student. Ring a bell? Real or not, Annabelle's is one of the most well-known horror stories in the world. Would you dare to have her in your room? Thank you for watching this Draw My Life. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave us in the comment. Hey. Psst, psst. You. I'm here.